are you doing? Uh, 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 uh. Bonjour everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Louisa, you are watching Lulu C'est La Vie and for today's video I am going to share with you what I do to protect my skin from the sun throughout the summer. All right, so first I'm going to start with my face. I have two different lotions that I put on my face, not at the same time. Uh, the first one is from a brand called Botanical, Botani Botanics. This is how their packaging looks like. And this is how the bottle looks like. This is an SPF 15, which is not super strong. That's why I only wear this lotion when I know I'm gonna stay indoors or when the weather is like overcast gray outside. The second lotion that I like to put on my face is from a brand called Kula and it is a, a classic sunscreen avec, with an SPF of 50. I got this one in my subscription box, uh, Fit Fat Fit fab fun um, you guys should definitely try it I think it's really worth the money um, I've been trying this for about two weeks now no maybe no less than that maybe maybe 10 days and it's really good it works very well with makeup it gives a great protection I also used it when I went for a jog and uh, it, it's really good so this is a better SPF and I like to uh, wear that on a regular sunny day, put that on my face and put my makeup over it. So now for the rest of my body, a brand that I really like to use is Sunbalm. I think they are a great company. They are very conscious about what they put in their product. I just did a review about their hair product, which was really great and I will link it right there for you. Um, now. As far as the sun protection uh, spray and lotion, this is the spray right there. It is a SPF of 70. Uh, like I said, I appreciate that they are con conscious about what they put in their product. They are paraben free, they are vegan, cruelty free, gluten free, hypoallergenic, and there's a bunch of bad chemicals that are not good for us that are in sun suns sunscreens in general, and some bumps does not put them in there like PABA which is a chemical that stops certain rays UV rays from penetrating our skin but uh, PABA is something that causes hormone imbalance in our body um, same thing with uh, oxybenzone it's another substance that causes hormone imbalance in our body and some bones make sure that this is not in their product this is not a sponsored video just so you know but I kind of know the product now because I've been doing a review on it so blah 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 anyways uh, it is non comedogenic which means it does not block your pore and there's no retinol palmitate so retinol palmitate I'm not quite sure what it is I know it's a mix with re between retinol and acid uh, something acid amino whatever um, there is a debate about whether or not it is good or bad for our skin apparently people disagree but either way it's not in the sun balm uh, line of, of sunscreen so we don't have to worry about that sun balm also has a great line for kids they call it baby balm I use it with Ella I've been using it on her since she's a baby and it was always great another um, sunscreen that I like that I found at Winery last year is from a brand called Botanical Sunscreen this one is a SPF of 50 and this brand is hypoallergenic uh, pretty much has the same thing as sun balm one thing that I really like about this particular lotion is that it is reef friendly I don't know if you're gonna be able to see focus focus Voila, refriendly. I think it's this one right here or this one. I can't see. It's in reverse. Um, refriendly means that it's not going to hurt the reef when you put this lotion on your skin and you get in the ocean. Uh, the lotion is gonna also get in the water and it could possibly hurt the the animals and this brand make sure that this product is not going to do that and i think it's great it's one thing to want to protect your skin and yourself from the sun it's another thing to destroy the environment because of it it's kind of selfish so if you guys can you know make sure that you look for a brand that is also environmental friendly and reef friendly that would be super cool 
Another thing that I like to have during the summertime are sun sticks. Those little sun sticks, is that how they call it? Sun protection sticks. Um, I have two different brands here. This one is from Baby Bomb. So this one is one that I would more than likely use on Ella. It's an SPF of 50. It is vegan, cruelty free, uh, non nano, I don't know what that is, uh, plant based. It's very gentle for the kids. Uh, skin the way I use it on Ella is that I would put it on her forehead a cheekbones her nose her chin and I will just massage it all over her face to make sure she has a great coverage I'll also put it on her shoulders or the back of her neck if I see that she is really exposed and I don't have anything else this is awesome uh, I will also put it on my tattoos this is how it would look like this tattoo is uh, a couple of months old it's gonna be its first summer so I'm gonna be very vigilant when it comes to sun protection this one is a brand that we carry uh, that we carry at our surf shop it's called platinum sunscreen it is an SPF of 30 uh, it is a paraben free 100% natural is it 100% yeah 100% natural um, I don't know much about this brand uh, but that's another option at the end of the day whatever brand you're uh, comfortable with I recommend that you get their stick version of sunblock and just put it in your handbag and you I promise you it will come in really handy especially if you have a kids or especially if you have skin <laughs> All right, what's next? Here. Now, something that you have to keep in mind is that skin protection sunblocks are effective up to two hours. After two hours, you have to reapply sunblocks to make to have a full protection. Uh, that works for your body. This is fine. I mean, there's no problem putting sunblock on your arms, your legs, whatever. But when it comes to the face, if you have a full face of makeup, after two hours, you're not going to want to apply sunblock over your makeup. So here's a few options that I wanted to share with you. Things that I do to help me protect my skin from the sun once my sunblock is not effective anymore. The first option is to wear hats. I have here like three different types of hats to show you. The idea is that you are creating a shade right over your hair. This one is more of a short one. Uh, this one these two here are a little bit longer. I'm not sure how you call this part of the hat in English. In French, it's called la visière. See, this one is already like dying. It's been, I've been wearing it a lot. Um, I'm not sure what's the name of this. Please put it in the comments below and light me with wisdom. I Just teach me English. Do me a favor. Save this YouTuber. Teach her some English. Um, <laughs> and I'll teach you some French. Uh, so you want to make sure that la visière, this part of the hat, is long so that it has a pretty good coverage and really brings enough shade on your face um, also i mean hats are awesome in the summer it doesn't just protect your face it also keeps the moisture in your head when you walk around under the sun all the moisture from your head is come going evaporating going out by wearing a hat you kind of keeping this moisture so you're less dehydrated that doesn't mean you do not have to drink water anymore it just means that you're keeping the moisture in a little bit longer also if you don't feel like doing your hair this is a great option so that's that the next thing that I want to talk about is sunglasses the most sensitive part of your face is around your eyes uh, by choosing the right pair of sunglasses for the summer because there's sunglasses for the summer and there are sunglasses for the winter um, you will save your eyes and you will save the skin around your eyes which um, is uh, to my opinion one of the part that makes people look older faster the more uh, damaged that skin is the older you will look uh, personally when I look for a pair of sunglasses I make sure that the, the lens is UV protected and polarized but I also make sure that the shape of the sunglass goes low enough uh, under my eyes and on the sides of my eyes so that it really protects the skin as much as possible in the winter, I would look for a different shape um, and a lens that is not as protective, but still has some protection. Um, so that's another thing to look for. 
Okay, so the last option that I have for you today is a sunbrella. If you are, let's say, at work and you have a full face of makeup and you're going to be outdoors all day, you cannot really wear a hat, you cannot reapply uh, sunscreen without messing up your makeup, this sunbrella is a great option. Now, I call it sunbrella. I'm not even sure that's the right name, but it's an umbrella for the sun. Um, I got this on Amazon for about $22 to $23, maybe $24, I can't remember. I will put the link in the description box below. Uh, the idea is that it's exactly like an umbrella, but the difference is, you see how dark this is? No light passes through this. This is like a UV coat protection thingy, and it's thick. A regular umbrella would have whatever color uh, you know, you would see through, the, the UV would go straight through it. Now, uh, I've been using it for about two weeks now, and I think it was last weekend, last weekend was Father's Day weekend, and I've been, I used it with Nigel, and when Nigel got under it, he was like, oh my gosh, it's not just protecting from the sun, it's also cooling down, it is, the, the heat doesn't even go through, uh, it's, it's really cool, so it was daddy approved, uh, which makes me think that it is great for, great for work if you, like I said, cannot reapply uh, sunscreen or wear a hat, but it's also great when you are carrying a baby around and it is steaming hot. I remember when I had Ella in my baby carrier in the summertime, I had a regular umbrella. I was not aware of these yet. Um, this is a great option to really protect you and your little ones from the sun. So voila, that's that. This is all I can share with you right now. Um, let me know in the comments below what what do you guys do to protect yourself from the sun things that I did not mention today uh, I would love to know I would love to learn new tricks new ways to protect my skin from the sun and by sharing down, by sharing downstairs by sharing in the comments below you're not just sharing with me but you're sharing with the entire community which by the way is getting bigger and bigger we are close to 5,000 subscribers I am so excited so happy happy thank you so much um so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and feel free to share it with friends if you think it can help them uh give me the big thumbs up if it was valuable information and you enjoyed watching watching this video um and don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet what are you waiting for i will see you guys next week with a new video until then have a beautiful life au revoir et à bientôt. <rire> hey, c'est la vie.